David, thank you for, for joining us this evening. Yeah. Can you tell us how you first got involved with Trifles? Um, I guess just through knowing Jimmy and Minnie and Fraser, really, just um, just knowing them and being interested in what they were talking about and actually some of the doors that were, I would say, firmly shut um, and, and being interested in them, knocking on them and seeing what was happening. And so you're on board as one of the judges yeah. this year. So tell us, what, what is, that must be quite a, a challenge. It is actually. I mean, they. It is because you feel like, as an actor, you need to really give every single film the time that it deserves, right? Because people have uh, have been brave with an idea and put it together and produced some excellent work. So then, that adds on to the problem because you have to choose just a few, and they're all so good. So. Um, it was very challenging, but like, what an excuse to say, no, no, darling, I'm working. I need to, I've got to sit and watch these films and be thoroughly entertained. But no, it's really, it's hard work, yeah. And, and Triforce is very much about uh, diversity. So as an actor, story is also incredibly important. So how do you strike the balance between making sure the boxes are ticked in one respect, but also that, that you're not losing quality to the story either? Yeah, do you know, it's quite easy, actually, because uh, I was on a judging panel for another thing recently, and they sent over 10 hours of film to watch, and this was like 60 odd different films, and I was judging cinematography. And what happens is there, you just start looking for the things that just do something on your inside, and actually, what I found with that is there were some of the some of the leaders, right? So you get your like, say, for example, Blue Planet in documentaries, right? That's there. And then you would get other docs who were trying to kind of copy that. And so that's great after seeing one. And then it's great after seeing another. And then you'll get someone who does something from left field. And usually it's a different perspective. And so it's someone else going, this is how I see the world. And that really just, just engages you in a different way. So I really am not ever watching a film thinking, I wonder if the person who made this was any one of the other categories. I'm just watching a film going, does it pull on my heartstrings? Does it, does it tug that creative box with inside me and then and then it gets a mark to go forward for something out and it's it's so lovely when you're judging to just have different perspectives rather than one narrative um so yeah and i think it's very important as well as part of this festival that the, the judges come from all different kind of areas of the film industry as well that, that bring a, an eclectic mix and and a, an objectivity as well absolutely because my brilliant is not going to be everyone else's brilliant it should be <laughs> but it's not. Um, uh, likewise, something that doesn't, you know, doesn't take my fancy will be someone else's uh, excellence. And we found that when we when we got together recently to design to decide on the final uh, four, what um, the different perspectives that were within that, and learning how something touched someone else uh, was was educational uh, and rewarding. I think quite a real sort of film is very collaborative and, and I imagine this process was too then. Um, yeah, the initial process, not so much. That's you on your own. Um, and then uh, the, the, last pro yeah, the last piece was. Um, yeah, I wonder if I'd describe the whole thing as collaborative. It's, yeah. In this new world of technology, perhaps it is collaborative in sort of emailing and connecting and, um, and tapping into each other in that way. But certainly, I think, I think Triforce were very good at going, we want your opinion on this. And, and you just had to mark and then... It's interesting you mentioned technology, because this is... If you've ever got the, 
the technology at your fingertips literally to go out and make a film there is that, as long as you've got a story there is no excuse now not to get out and make it yeah yeah have you seen uh, you've seen apocalypse now right yes yeah, so have you seen the documentary about the the making of no i haven't but i, I really should there's an excellent bit uh, at the end it's I don't even know if I can say this on camera. It's all, I mean, the documentary, which was made by Coppola's wife, is almost... I wonder if I enjoyed it more. I, I'm, and, I, and I loved I loved Apocalypse Now. There's a great bit at the end where Coppola is remortgaged and remortgaged and he's, got, he's not got a clue what the film's going to do. And he just talks about how, in the future, filmmakers are not going to be big budgets and people like me they're gonna it's gonna come from someone anyone that has a camera and has an idea and and will shoot their perspective of the world and it's it's so interesting now being judging in this yeah, yeah that's a really really good point and just finally because i know you want to go and enjoy your evening and you've done your work yeah, yeah. um with triforce yeah. um that the other really important asset to this is that it does potentially open doors for filmmakers that contribute and and, and put their films forward yeah, I think uh, it not only opens doors, but I think Triforce are committed to the winners and the filmmakers, and then trying to ensure that they um, that that they get all the help that they can, because sometimes it's, uh, it's it's it can be quite weird wading into new rooms and new circles that you've not been in before. It can be quite daunting so to have someone alongside you to step with you is great. So.